the, uh, the physical, the tactile process is, yeah, just really getting these trees here. We cut them to length, we peel them. I've titled it the shadow array. It's primarily a shadow, um, a shadow piece, a shadow sculpture. It's a, uh, a series of logs uh, angled and propped at a in a certain arrangement to create a shadow array that's cast across the landscape. The logs are all in state. They're from uh, the Rio Grande Forest, just outside of Del Norte, Colorado. They're all beetle kill spruce trees, um, probably two to 250 years old. To do this, you know, from my hometown airport, uh, a local artist, it was a big deal. It's basically a huge field of, uh, I think there's 18,500 of these uh, counterweighted uh, elements that move in the wind. It has a plant-like uh, motion to it, and uh, but you don't have to water and fertilize it. Each element is independent. Each one is, is just responding uniquely to whatever wind pressure hits it. But when you look at the whole field, and this is just this is just one percent of what the final array is going to be. Um, but even in this, you start to see coordinated movement, kind of wave-like movement, and it's almost as though they're communicating with each other. Installation in Denver will be interesting because it's a very windy place. It's one of the windiest places we've ever installed things. C'est euh, intimement lié, donc ce projet, on pénètre, euh, on en sort ou on en rentre par l'escalator euh, gigantesque, mais on pénètre finalement dans une abstraction de toute la nature de l'eau qui existe au Colorado. C'est-à-dire la glace, donc le solide de l'eau, le liquide bien entendu, avec les rivières et surtout euh, la pluie, les rivières en tous les cas, et puis euh, particulièrement la chaleur avec l'évaporation, donc euh, le phénomène gazeux. Depuis 40 ans, je tente de réaliser une forme d'art qui soit beaucoup plus euh, en relation avec euh, le public immédiat et pas forcément dans des lieux qui sont justement dédiés à l'art. Et donc au lieu de de, de, de créer seulement de l'information et du signal, euh, introduire un, un, un geste poétique. 